for 10 days in March. Sri Lanka imposed a state of emergency after fighting broke out between Buddhist and Muslim groups. The Muslim minority saw its mosques and properties scorched by Buddhist hardliners. <laughs> Fighting initially broke out in Kandy after a Sinhalese truck driver died in hospital after being attacked by a small group of Muslim men. The riots quickly spread, leaving three people dead in the revenge attacks that followed. While the violence is over in Sri Lanka for now, religious tension remains high, especially when you have Sinhalese nationalist Buddhist groups like Bodubala Sena fueling the fire. TRT World's Off the Grid series gained rare access to its leader, Galagoda Athe Nyanasara, the monk who's been accused of inciting hatred against Muslims. He says he wants to protect the Sinhalese identity. He says Muslims must be stopped from taking over. Ethnic and religious tension in Sri Lanka is nothing new. But since the end of its civil war in 2009, violence between Muslims and the country's largest ethnic group, the Sinhalese, has been on the rise. Sinhalese are overwhelmingly Buddhist, and hardline groups like Bodu Balasena have grown in popularity. They're portraying Islam and Muslims as a religious, cultural and economic threat. Yanasara has faced numerous court cases for inciting violence and on Thursday was found guilty for assault. He will be sentenced next month. It's been a long time coming. Four years ago, he delivered this speech in the southern town of Aluthgama. <laughs> Within hours, a group of Sinhalese nationalists went on the attack. Three people died that night, including Nawasiya's husband. The nationalist movement has opened the way for retaliation against the Sinhalese. A day after the Aluthgama violence, Shiranti's house was among four belonging to Sinhalese that were attacked. While the state of emergency has appeared to have quashed the renewed violence in Sri Lanka, mistrust and misunderstanding linger. And unless the government acts quickly against the perpetrators of communal violence, where will that leave the country? Christine Pirovolakis, The Newsmakers.